Hello and good evening. My name is John and I'm joined just off screen by Kerbo, my cat, and he's with us today because we are playing Kitty Cat Jigsaw Puzzles. As part of my Steam cleaning series, I go through all the games in my Steam library eventually, and this one I've not played, but I'm going to guess it is cat-themed jigsaw puzzles because, you know, that just seems about right. So without further ado, let's get in here. All right. Oh, look at all those kitty cats! Man, how do I choose? Well, let's go with this guy here, number eight. All right, so there doesn't appear to be any music. Let's just check these settings. No? All right, there's no music, so at least I won't get content ID'd. Uh, can I rotate? No, it doesn't look like I can rotate. Well, that makes things a little easier, assuming that that is true and I can't rotate. All right, so the puzzle pieces attached to each other. Uh, that's good. And um, I like it when they attach because that is how you would actually would manipulate a puzzle piece. Now, unfortunately, there seems to be some gaps in between these that uh, are a little unfortunate. But let's continue here. Does it stick to corners? No, it doesn't look like it sticks. All right, so that's good. Uh huh. No. No. Yes. There we go. We're getting there. All right. Okay. So they snap once you get uh, locked in corners. That's that's reasonable. Or or they just snap. Ah, oh, unfortunate. All right. So locking in like that is not great because you just drag them around until it till it finds a snap. And I'm not too big of a fan of that personally. I'm a very particular puzzle picker. I don't like too generous of a snap. And the uh, alias gaps there are something they really should uh, should have looked to clean up. Yeah, without any music, this game just feels super dry. Uh, I mean, are the cats carrying it? Yes. I like cats, so this puzzle game is clearly... Uh, doing well, but also it requires me to keep a lot more fill talking going on. There we go. His eye should be like there. There? Where do cats put their eyes? Out oh, there. Okay. <clears throat> so what else makes a good puzzle? Well, a variety in piece Edges is good. Um, yeah, that auto snap is super generous. Um, a variation in in texture and not texture, but I mean, not texture like puzzle pieces, but texture as in like shapes and directions and stuff like that also helps. Uh, there, yeah. Um, what else is important when it comes to puzzling? Oh, you don't belong there. Yeah, not being able to rotate, I think, is a big detractor for this product here. And you're there-ish? I'll find out. I feel like this should be there. Or there? Yeah. Without rotation, it is... It makes these a lot easier. You get there. You're going to be the corner. Snap. You're there. Nope, you're there. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Solving puzzles with kitty cats. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. That's a good ear piece right there. It's a nice looking cat. Like, I would rate this cat like a... Hmm. This cat, I would give... He looks a lot like my cat, so I'm going to give this cat like a 6 out of 8. Which is pretty good. Not the best cat, but because he's an outdoor cat, and you gotta be really careful outdoor cats. But a high enough quality cat that I would recommend it to a friend. Uh, 149 moves, 3.8 minutes. So I only got one star on that cat. Well, that's a one star cat then, boom. Um, let's see, are there more cats? Can I go to more cats? Maybe I'll solve these all. Wait, hold on, maybe if I click 
Oh, okay, there's different pages of cats. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hmm. Well, let's see this hairless cat here. He looks like a pal. That looks like a... Oh, wow, this one has the piece layout on there. So I guess you could just move these around? That's an interesting choice. Um, do I want to actually do that, though? Probably not. But then again, you can find them pretty easy. So maybe. Uh, let's see. So it's got an any and an up. And... There's no cheats or hints or any kind of a uh, control stuff for that, which, uh, you know, might be nice to have for, like, you know, smoothing out. But these aren't very tough cat puzzles. Let's be honest here. No, no, yes. You don't need a lot of difficulty for cat puzzles, do you? All right, so I've never actually seen a hairless cat. I know that they're very good for people who, you know, are allergic to cats. But they're not really my kind of cat. So you don't go there. You go there. These ones with the borders are a lot easier. You go there, yeah. You go there. Uh, no. It's one of these. How am I missing this? This is not there. Not there. There you go. And this one is clearly there. Yep, just uh, assembling myself a cat here. I like it when cats come pre-assembled, personally. That saves you a lot of time. You pay a little bit more for it, but it's, it's really worth it in the end. That was not the one I thought I grabbed. All right, well. There you go. Yep, yep. No, yep, yep. There you go. So this one's on a Christmas tree. Play with you. I don't know if yarn's actually good for cats, to be honest. I feel like that would be something they could choke on or chew on. Like I know you always see them playing with it, but like milk's not good for cats, and they always go, "Oh, give them cat a bowl of milk," but that's not good for them. And cats are typically lactose intolerant. You don't want like to make your cat sick. That's just bad. All right, where do you go? I feel like you go there, but you don't. Where do you go? I'm not even looking at the. I'm not even looking at the piece. Look at the, or should I say, I'm not even looking at what's on the piece. I'm looking at the uh, connectors. Well, let's see. Must be that one. All right. Well, at least I'll get the lowest number of moves possible. That's a plus. Is it though? Is that really a plus? Where do you go? Not there. Can't be there. Must be. Oh man, that'd be really interesting if they made a puzzle game with MacGuffin pieces that were like, this piece doesn't go in the puzzle, but it still lets you like jam it into the wrong spot. I probably wouldn't go over too well, but be like, oh, pieces are randomly mixed in with your your set. How annoying that your little brother or little sister was fiddling around with stuff and mixed two pieces of puzzles together. Wouldn't that be a pain in the butt? Speaking of butts, no. It's got to be one of these. There you go. That's a butt. Part of a butt. That's a back. That's, um, there, that's a tail, that's a corner, that's, that's an eyeball. Oh, that goes there. Yeah, not really feeling this as, like, quality puzzle piece game play here. Not sure exactly what I'm looking for, but it's oh I'm, I didn't do a perfect drop. Where? Oh man, it goes there. What was I thinking? 
I'm gonna pull myself together here, get back into the swing of things. Don't wanna lose this three star score. All right, we're back in it, we're back in it. I don't think it's a good idea to have your cat climbing the Christmas tree either. There's a lot of things in it that's dangerous. All right, there we go. There we go. All right, just the last couple pieces here. You also should not give a cat as a pet. That's always a bad idea. It's a lot of responsibility. Don't give responsibilities. If you... oh, I just lost one star. Wah, wah. 57 moves, 5.5 minutes. All right, let's try a puzzle from from Beach. Hmm. You know, it's really hard to decide what cat is the best here. They're all so nice. Huh. It's like public domain cats just, you know, uh, on a bulk discount. Let's go with this stripey guy here. Oh, this one looks like a complicated one. Well, let's start finding our edge pieces. It's a corner. I feel without rotation, I really can't recommend this game. It's just it removes so much from the mechanics. Was oh, another hairless cat? Seem really popular these days. Or at least in this puzzle day. Right, more edges, more edges. Gotta find them edges. Alright, yep, that goes there. Gotta sort your pieces. I always sort by color and I always sort by edges. It's gotta go somewhere along there. Because usually colors blend from place to place. Oh, you're an edge? You're an edge. Good. Now we're cooking with gas. It should be like there. What else is important in puzzle solving? Patience. Definitely patience. No. Also trust. You gotta trust that the people who made the puzzle did a good job. I feel like whoever sliced out these puzzle pieces did an okay job. Taking that JPEG and then importing it into something. You know. Well that's locked in. So that must be there. Corner piece. All right, where's some more edges? There's an edge. So you go there. Any more edges over here? There's an edge. Move that over. You're an edge. No, nope, not quite yet, but you might go there. Boom. Are puzzles relaxing? I'm gonna go with yes. Because as long as you're not stressed about trying to solve it on a certain time, you get to just, you know, get stuff done. You, you match, there you go. The detection is a little, a little loose, which is unfortunate. You must go there, all right. You must go there, no, you must go there. So we're closing in, and once you get the outer row done, or the edge row, then you can really start getting to work. It's all about building a solid foundation. That's that's the advice I give to puzzle doers. Is that the term, puzzle doers? It must be up there then. There you go. Oh, we got a bit of an ear. How great. All right. There 
there's another edge piece, boom. All right, so we got most of the edges. Some people solve puzzles and frame them, which is, you know, fine. Not really what I do, but I don't want to judge. Well, I judge always when I put the reviews up, but this game could really use some music. I don't know why there's no music. It's a little weird, but there's no music. Huh. There's no sound at all. Like, it did one click when I selected a puzzle, and I feel like... I'm doing something wrong here, but I'm just not getting any audio. But you know, maybe that's more realistic. When you play a, when you build a puzzle in real life, there's no audio. Maybe the developers are just like way ahead of their time. All right, we have one edge piece left. Um, there it is. All right, so let's finish up this blanket here. Those are that. All right, there we go. There we go. There we go. Boom. Any more blanket squares? This looks like it's kind of part of it. That looks like it's kind of part of it. You look like you go there, though. There? There we go. All right, any more blanket squares? You're sort of a blanket square. Not really, though, but you could be part of the blanket there. You are, though. Boom. All right, that blanket's coming together. We want two vertical blue stripes. Bum, 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 bum. Put that in there. You're an ear. I feel like you're over there. Two vertical blue stripes. Hmm. Also, all these pieces um, are the same general shape, like there aren't any half long or double wide ones, which does make the puzzle solving easier in that extent too because you don't have to worry about, the, they all kind of sit on that grid pretty well. All right, I'm looking for a very tiny right end. I thought it was that, but it doesn't match the pattern. No. Nope. Hmm. Where is that blue line? And that one goes there, obviously. That one goes there. And we're still making progress, but I just feel like I'm missing some pieces here. There you go. There you go. All right, we got cat. Definitely have a cat now. All right. Let's find some more blanket pieces here. Now, yep. Yep. The heck is that? It's like a monstrous body part. Ugh. No. Maybe? Yes. I feel like you belong. Somewhere over here. There we go. Okay. What else do we got? Hmm. 
Nope, nope. Nope, nope. Sometimes though with these pulses you just gotta wiggle things around. There we go. That looks like midsection of this cat. Cat to midsection. Where's a good ear piece? No. Let's see. We got a big chunky blanket piece that should go there. Is that a there we go? There we go. Alright, so we started to form up the cat ear. The most cat part of cats is the cat ear. Still feel like this should be there we go. So do I have any thoughts on this game so far? It's I don't know, maybe the music's just not working and I'm doing something wrong, but I don't I don't think I can really recommend without music, like or or sound effects or chimes or any indication that I'm doing a good job here as a cat maker. Like professional cat making is not an easy job. Like you could use a little positive feedback when it comes to doing. Oh, some of these pieces are just kind of gross when you're like tr figuring out what part of the cat it is. I don't know. Alright, I should find this piece. There we go. I should find that piece. There we go. I should find cat face. Where is cat face? This cat has a face, right? I can't go back to the original photo, but most cats have face. I don't want to. Don't want to judge, but all right. Bottom right corner blankets piece. Bottom right corner is a blanket piece. Oh, I just lost a star. No. There we go. Okay. There we go. We got some more cat coming in. Every day we're closer to being a cat. Piece by piece. Piece by piece. All right, let's try to assemble this gross, hairless belly. I don't want to say gross. It's just now that I'm looking at it, it's not, it's not doing it for me. Like it's not making me want to go out and hug this cat. And I admit that you know sometimes there are cats out there that need more hugs than others, and I'm part of the problem by wrongly judging this cat as being not worth my hugs. But he looks a little unfugged, unfun to hug what I'm saying here. Very poorly saying at the very least. No, no, no. Where the heck do your body parts go? What is up with this cat? Oh, I lost another star. Oh man, the rules on this thing is rough. Um, very densely packed wrinkles. I felt it like it should go there. What? Man. It did not look like it matched. There we go. That's the head of the cat. Nope. You? Yes. Oh, man. That is a wrinkly kitty cat. I mean, he's cute. All cats are cute, but that's a wrinkly cat. Let's not kid ourselves here. Let's not kitten ourselves here. Alright. I need a wrinkly corner for this cat. With a nub coming up like this. Close to that. 
that, yes. And another one of those corners, I'm going with this. No. Like that, no. Like so, there we go. This cat's coming together. All right. I don't know why I picked two wrinkly cats. Clearly I have a problem with them. I didn't think I did though. All right, I need three Quario. When you stop and think about the piece you need, it's easier to find them, but I kind of like to just do things arbitrarily and then complain when they don't work. So that's the American way. All right, starting to run out of pieces here. A squished piece like this, and then a three prong. Go with that. No, I'm gonna go with this. No. Let's see this one. Oh, hey, hold on. Is it, is it this one? All right. Well, the thing about this is it has to either go there. All right, so now we just have to do the process of elimination here. What? Let's do that one. And we have made a cat. Whew. Well, this has been Kitty Cat Jigsaw Puzzles. Let's talk about this game. Uh, without rotation, I find that this, the puzzles are always simpler. The um, I have audio like that you hear in the clicks, but there's no audio but the, the page turn clicks. So I think this game is unfinished from an audio standpoint. The cat pictures, they're fine. They're cats, they're cute. They're probably open source, whatever. You get a lot of them. Probably more than I'll ever play because I'm probably done here. Um, there's major issues with the typography, and I know I'm nitpicking there, but uh, depending on the color of the background, you can't read the text. Like I, you can't see the twenty in there. It's right there, but because it blends in the background, you can't see it. So there's no reason why they couldn't have raised this up or down or made it in some way that the stuff didn't blend in. And uh, yeah, just, I think this was a cat puzzle cash-in. But there you go, kitty cat jig paw puzzles. Cheers, jig. Also, they should have called it jig paws puzzles, not jigsaw puzzles. Missed opportunity.